Hey guys, it's Lisa from TRW, and in this video, I am going to try to wood burn with a marker again. Now, a lot of people said I didn't have the right kind of wood, and I also have a lot of custom Christmas gifts that I'm making, and quite frankly, I don't want to use a wood burning tool. So we are going to use the Scorch wood burning marker with the stencil we make with our Silhouette Cameo to customize this beer caddy for Christmas. So here I am in Silhet Studio. I spared you the boredom of watching me pick out fonts. So let me just show you the fonts that I have in here. I still have these as fonts. I do need to weld them, but we can go over here. This font is called C Act Clean. Uh, font I downloaded a while ago. I like it like that, so I'm going to weld it. Now keep in mind this G is not touching the rest of them, so I need to right click and make it a compound path so they're treated together. And then this one, this font is Moab Hers Slant. I think that's right. We're gonna go over here, and since this doesn't have any overlapping letters, I'm gonna right click and go straight to Make Compound Path. So I like this setup right here. I'm gonna bring it in like that, maybe down a little bit. It's really up to you. And then I just wanna type 2019 right there. So we type 2019. While I still have this green line for text edit mode, I'm gonna right click. And now I'm going to choose which font. So let's see if, how C Act works. That doesn't work. So we're going to do Moab hers. That one's 2019. Well, that's oh, 2.0. So for 2019. So I'm not going to do so much the slant one. Let's go over here and see how it looks. But I kind of think I should do it. Yeah, I want it to be straight up and down. So we're gonna do 2.0. And then this looks off from the rest of it. That's just because I have a line color on. I'm gonna go right here, go to my line color, and I'm gonna do X. And now we have that all set. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to adjust these with my arrows. Just kind of set it up how I like it. And like now that I'm doing it, I don't know if I like the 2019. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off. So we're just going back to this. And so here is my caddy. I got this from TJ Maxx, but they have, this is like super common this holiday season. It's everywhere. So I think I'm gonna burn it in right where the bottle opener is. I'm gonna use my TRW scraper because it's got measuring tools on it. So this is about five and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna set up my whole design to be about four inches wide. So let's go through here. And to have this treated all the same, I'm going to right click and make it a compound path. This makes it a compound path all together. So we have this set right here and I'm just adjusting my screen so it fits better for you. So now we have this as a compound path. It moves together, double click, it has all the points together. So now we can just click right here, go to our quick access tool panel at the top. We wanna to click this little uh, lock to lock our ratio, and we are gonna make this four inches wide. So super easy. Now, just so you're aware, I may have issues cutting because this bottom font is pretty thin, but we're gonna see where it goes. So this we're gonna use as a stencil. So I'm gonna go right here to my rectangle tool Go ahead, draw a box around this. And now we're just gonna go ahead and set up to cut. So let's go to our send panel. As you know, I like to pre-program my settings. Check out my video on how to pre-program your settings. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do my FDC vinyl. So you can see right now it says no setting found because I, have, I was working with a Cameo 3 and now I'm working with a Cameo 4. So we're gonna go right here, we're gonna do cut. Then we're all set there. So we have my force at six, my speed at one, which I'm going to keep because this does get kind of detailed. So let me load in my vinyl. We're gonna cut and see how it goes. Here's my vinyl on my cutting mat. Let's go ahead, like usual, load it in. And then I'm just gonna go through my settings and cut it with my FDC vinyl setting. All right, 
So we are done with that. I'm gonna load this off and I'm gonna actually move my Cameo back to make this easier. Now this is a pretty new cutting mat, so I'm going to flip it over, roll my mat off of my vinyl. That's a little tip if you don't know to keep it from folding or curling up. So we have our design right here. Um, and so the cool thing about us using this as a stencil is that we have a little bit more wiggle room. So um, you can see like the period in this kind of moved a little bit. Let me hold the camera up so you can hold it up to the camera, right? Um, here, it moved, but we actually want those spaces to be clear because we are using this as a stencil. So this gives us a little bit more wiggle room. So I'm gonna weed out the parts that I want to show up because this is a stencil. So let me do this and then we will start applying. Perfect. So here is our design right here. We're just gonna trim around the other side and then we can apply this to start doing our wood burning. All right, so let's go ahead and just trim this to make it easier on us. All right, we'll move this to the side. All right, so that is our stencil. Now we need to put our application tape on it. So I have my R tape here. I'm gonna roll it with the non-sticky side over it so I can get a good measurement. And now I can just trim this off. And then let's go ahead and apply our tape right there. And then just to make it easier on us later, I'm going to trim this a little bit closer. This part's not necessary, but I like to have um, the least amount of transfer tape as possible because, it, I mean, it is kind of thicker, so sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult to work with. So let's set this to the side. All right, so here is my bottle caddy. You can see right here. And then uh, this is my little TJ Maxx sticker, so let me zoom you out. Alright, so this is, let's take that sticker off. Got it for 10 bucks. Good thing is, guys, my friends don't watch this channel, so they'll never know. Alright, so there is my little carrying case, or my beer caddy. So we're going to bring this over, and this is going to go right here. So let me turn this so I can see it. And we're gonna peel this up. And now we're gonna find the placement that we like. So I like it right here. So you see this? All right, so we're gonna lift this up. Perfect. So I am actually going to use the scorch marker. If you remember some of my previous videos, I used it before and it didn't work out too well. But I did test it on this wood and I think we're going to have better results. So I want to make sure that this is nice and tight. So one thing that I like to do is I like to take the paper, the backing that my vinyl was just on, and I use this to smooth one more time to really get in there without lifting the vinyl. Alright, so let me fix my camera and then we're going to start doing the wood burning part. Alright, so here is my scorch marker, and we're literally just going to color in where this, and the stencil. So, the scorch marker does look kind of light, so just be careful. You want to have enough, but you also don't want to, like, overdo it. So what I'm going to do is I kind of dumped it, and I'm just coloring in here. I can see that it's slightly changing color, and I'm going to kind of just borrow from that little puddle that I made over here to fill in these places. It's really thick over here, so I'm going to kind of just pat it over here. Because this 
on this side, I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to start bleeding into the wood. And I don't want that. I want to try to have as clean of a line as I can get. You know, something like this, I don't, I don't really... I'm not naive enough to think that I'm going to get like a perfectly crisp line. But, you know, I like setting myself up for success if I can. Alright, so let's go over here. Pretty good. I'm going to go grab a paper towel and dab this off. And then we'll be ready to, to hopefully wood burn. Alright, so before we wood burn, we want to take the vinyl off. So I'm just taking this and lifting it right up. So I can see like, you know, little marks, not mark, well, a discoloration where my marker was. So I am optimistic that this will work. So let's go ahead and just take out these middle parts. Be careful, you don't want to like make huge gashes in your wood when you're trying to lift this up. You could also use your blue TRW scissors for this, the Rhinestone World scissors. Uh, this is a really good use for it. Just for this one, it is leaving a little bit of a sticky residue. So you just want to make sure at the end to kind of wipe it off. can see the discoloration like the the scorch marker mark so hopefully this works all right so that here this G is gonna work that's for sure all right so this next part you just want to be careful this is an actual heat gun, a Wagner heat gun. I got it from, I think, Lowe's. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see if we can wood burn. And I'm over here, I'm just letting it heat up a little bit.
face. I really, really didn't think this would work, but I think it looks pretty dang good. You need to be patient. Like at first it doesn't seem like it's gonna go, but then it really starts warming up. So I am actually gonna see if I can fix a couple of these spots. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the scorch stuff right there. And then this looks like, I don't know, it's like something folded over on top. So I'm just gonna kinda try to fill in that space a little bit. See if I can, uh, oh crap, that was a lot. So now I have a ton of liquid just kind of like sitting on top. So I have it just sitting on top. So I'm going to let it sit to maybe soak in a tiny bit and then I'm going to very gently pat it with a paper towel, like straight down like you do when you spill something on your rug to see if I can get that in there, but not spread it around. All right, so very gently, I'm gonna drop this on there. Okay. Now, just to be clear, this would have been fine, but I wanted to see if I can darken up those spots. So let's try it again. Also, my camera died. I'm sorry, but check it out. You want to be careful though. I did get a little bit too much heat right there and it started scorching it, but I was able to fix those areas and I have this nice dark burn. All right, guys, a successful wood burning with the scorch marker. So we have our custom beer caddy. And we did have a little bit of bleeding, but that isn't the fault of the marker. That's kind of just me. You saw that I had a little bit too much, but really, really cool. I thought this was a great project. So moral of the story, make sure you have good wood to burn. Uh, before I was doing some craft stuff, so I'm assuming maybe it wasn't the right kind. But super awesome. This is part of my Christmas gifts, um, but it's a great thing to use, not just for this, but Father's Day will be here before you know it. Keep that in mind for Father's Day. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so you don't miss any more videos.